the nationwide lockdown introduced in an attempt to curtail the spread of coronavirus has taken its toll on the citizens of Ireland. Earlier, I spoke to Shauna Clarehack to talk about the impact the virus has had on her lifestyle. Okay, you mentioned your boyfriend was getting maybe one or two days since this started. Yeah. Does that mean you're getting the wage subsidy scheme to make yeah, up for it? he is, yeah. So he's getting the government are paying the start, um, up to a certain point of his wages and then his employer is topping it up. Now, it's not the same amount he'll be getting if he was working and, of course, he's missing out on sa- Saturday work, which would have been kind of vital for us, the, the overtime from that. But it is very handy that he do, we do get to have that when he's at home and he is working the odd day, so that's a bit extra as well. And I mean, we consider ourselves very lucky because there are people now that are living on the 350 and that must be absolutely impossible to do when you rent because our rent will be nearly that entire um, lump, lump sum of money. So we do consider ourselves very lucky that we do still have a wage coming in. Okay. Do you have any elderly relatives you'll be taking care of? Well, my nan, Elizabeth Kenny, she is in her 80s, so she's definitely considered one of the high-risk groups. Um, she's cocooning at the moment, so she, she all she has coming to her every day really is her carer and one or two family, family members that help her with her shopping and just general cleaning of her house because she's not able to some of it. She also has stints in her heart, so she's definitely considered very high risk. Shauna's story will be all too familiar to the families of Ireland, but the Department of Health's Chief Medical Officer, Dr Tony Hulhan, believes we may have flattened the curve of infection rates. Dr Hulhan is due to announce the latest infection figures at 6pm tonight. Darren King, Colossal Dulig News, Dublin.